everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. I have my criticisms of people who are extremely, extremely parasocial of Nidhi Sanji. The ones that would, a lot of people call Nidhi Sandi cultists, sisters, defenders, whatever you want to call them. The people who will see that Nidhi Sandi does no wrong, or at least in front of people, they'll try to make it appear like they do no wrong. Of course, everybody can do wrong at any point in time. But there, it makes they make it seem like nothing can be done wrong. So it's like, as stated, recently interviewed some Nidhi sisters. Uh, things that they were saying, apparently the majority of Nidhi sisters are fully aware of Nidhi Sanji's wrongdoing, but most Nidhi sisters see Nidhi Sanji as a bad company, but not horrible enough to be called a black company. So they're in denial a little bit, pretty much what they're saying here. Most Nidhi sisters criticize and call out Nidhi Sanji's problems, but will be mad if Nidhi Antis does it. The reasoning behind it is Nidhi sisters believe that only Nidhi fans are qualified to criticize Nidhi Sanji, kind of like how a cult believes that only people inside of the cult can actually criticize it. You know, other, uh, very obvious ones that start with an S, uh, bring out to my mind, but I cannot mention them because if you mention them, then they're freaking, you're going to get followed for eternity by their idiots. So yeah, some Nidhi sister watching Nidhi Sanji because to them, Nidhi Sanji is the only company where male talents frequently collab with female talents. Hollow Life kind of does it too, but they have their own Fujo and uh, unicorns. And these people have their own Fujos and unicorns where people are not happy when that happens. Most Nidhi sister think that awaiting some Nidhi talents to graduate and go back to their PL is no different than asking Nidhi talents to go and, you know, pass away. Uh, they're also saying, while I mentioned John, the Jean Bonavir so frequently collabs with a Tenjin uh, with a lot of female former Nidhi talents, but most of them replied to me was, sorry, I don't watch ID. That's the big problem. They don't watch anything outside of their bubble. That's not good. Uh, when a Niji sister or Niji Oshi graduated, most Niji sisters have expressed that they either move on to another Niji talent who does similar things or they stop watching Niji Sanji. That is also another cult ment mentality. If they are not within the cult that I'm in, then they no longer exist. That's not good. Uh, also expressed that they did not follow their Niji Oshi to their PL reincarnation because they became different to them just because they do not have that Niji Sanji name to them. That is also very cult-like. To them, false ID is a Niji anti. Any content creator that reports Niji Sanji's bad news is considered a drama tuber and Niji antis. This is why I got doxxed by them. Yes, I'm not lying. I got doxxed by them. The myfco.org, whatever the F that thing was. I got doxxed, nuclear doxxed on that one. Uh, why they decided to dox me? I don't know. I'm just reporting things that I'm seeing here. I'm trying to be as objective as I can, you know, but I, I report what I see. If there's a lot of bad stuff, of course I'm going to report it. They hate Raziel for doxing Niji Talent and pretty confidently believe that Raziel's proof are all fake and lies. Then they seem to agree that Raziel is only taking revenge on Luca out for personal issues. They don't buy the whole Luca uh, and Aster as, a, as an S harasser. They believe them to be innocent, so that's what I got from them. It's very much a cult mentality, like I mentioned before. The fact that they can only show interest in a streamer only when they are Nidhi Sanji simply means that they have the cultist affection toward the corpo. They also don't see the streamer's livers as a person or an individual, just as a tentacle of hundreds of Nid in the Niji octopus. Uh, it says Nidhi, Stan Nidhi Sanji, particularly Nidhi Sanji Yen, has turned away most of the people that fall into these groups. Fans that couldn't stomach overall business practices, fans that care about the talents more than the company, or casual viewers that have heard through the grapevine about their bad management. If they would fix this management, I'm pretty sure things would get better. Nijian also went as far out of the way to encourage parasocial fans, which they always have done, which more than uh, moral savvy companies know to dissuade for a laundry list of reasons. The insane people that are normally left to pee on the wind suddenly make up an unusually high percentage of their current fan base, and their voice ends up appearing to be magnified now that it isn't drowned out so yeah that's kind of it confirms on my end the whole niji cult thing the niji sister thing that them being connecting their identity to the organization instead of to the livers they don't appear to really enjoy the livers as long as they're not in niji sanji once they leave niji sanji it's like they, they they pass away they're gone they don't exist anymore and that's scary this is a question about uh Kunai, hey rats, uh, can I can't do a Membi watch along stream today. We'll reschedule my two watch alongs next month. Haven't been active. That's the whole membership thing of canceling the membership. Doesn't stream birthday, doesn't stream Riku's merch. Cancels membership stream, tells members to cancel membership. Follows Doki and Sayu on Twitter. Uh, do you really believe I will be back next month? She follows them on her PL, as is mentioned here. In her PL Twitter, yes. She even follows Hex's PL account. Uh, looking at her followers list, she's not following Doki or Sayu, but she's following them on her PL account, which is Sunny Explosion. 
According to her PL's follow list, she follows a lot of ex Niji like Doki, Sayu, Mint, Michi, and Kuro. I did not spot Matara, but Twitter doesn't show the full list. She follows about 800 accounts, so it's possible that she's in there somewhere. Also seeing that she was active on her PL account last month, it is most likely she has some form of contact with them throughout it. And yeah, I mean, that's fine. Nothing wrong with having contact with ex Niji. Nothing wrong with uh, following them. Of course, since Niji Sanji does skin crawl, like the skin crawl, it does actually crawl the accounts of the Niji Sanji livers and can take control at any point in time. That is one of those moments where you can't actually uh, do that on your full account because they could suspend you. They could do all this nasty stuff. I don't think she gives an S. She knows Niji kid not, cannot terminate anyone anymore. I wish more livers were aware of this. Niji cannot afford to terminate anyone. They can hardly suspend anyone anymore. Of course, not without further damage to their already uh, tattered reputation. Anything bad they do is going to affect the stock price. Livers of EN are in control and they should know that. Absolutely. And I hope they, they take that power back from that agency that isn't so great. Bit of a new thing in the VTuber sphere. We all know how uh, Hollow Life was going into Billy Billy sphere using NOA talent or NOAA talents to be their middleman, to be the person who is kind of like a old school multi network uh, channel thing, the multi channel network, the MCN for China in order to prevent, you know, all this extra stuff that goes with going into Billy Billy, you know, having to have a, a headquarters there, etc. So Mythic Talent is doing the thing as well. VTuber sign or the Mythic Talent will be seen in the Chinese market through the agency strategy partnership with NOA Talent. So they're partnering with them. They're invading that partnership right now. It is uh, Noah's statement on True X Twitter. It's saying right here, today we're incredibly excited to announce a partnership with Noah Talent. Noah will be our designated partner going forward. So we expand it to the Chinese market and um, helping our talents continue reach their heights and wider audiences like never before. Noah Talent also did the same thing, saying that they're, they're pleased to be a part with, with Mythic Talent. Like I said, Noah is more of a middleman that you basically you work with them and that allows you to work with in China through Billy Billy. Uh, this milestone collaboration for a new chapter for Noah as we embark on our journey to bridge the gap between Western and Eastern markets like never before. Together with Mythic, we aim to redefine industry standards and un unlock unprecedented opportunities for their talents and our partners in the Chinese market. Uh, Hololive did it with Matsuri and Kobo so far. Also, I believe uh, Fubuki and Soda have some things in there too. Mythic's announcement on Twitter shares their objective in the partnership with Noah, our designated partner. Noah Talent CEO He Xiao Tong uh, confirmed that VTuber News dropped that the uh, deal is mainly focuses on mythic VTuber talents, but they will expand to IRL streamers in the future. Based in Los Angeles, Noah Talent is overseas division of Chinese multi-channel network Medicine. Noah currently has 11 talents in the Chinese and English speaking markets, three of whom are, are affiliates. Noah is currently preparing their booth presence in Billy Billy World 2024, which is um, shown here. They're going to be having uh, Sadawe, Sens, Sayu is going to be part of it. Shy Lily and Fillion are going to be featured under Noah Talents uh, in their Billy Billy World website. So basically, they're all getting that organization there. It is all for the sake of not having to deal with like what happened with Hollow Life CN before, Hollow Life China, where they actually made a headquarters there and they had to deal with all the CCP stuff. So that is an easier way of them dealing with this. That is an easier way for them to go through this. So they aren't, they don't have to actually go and be in China, have a presence in China. They just use this multi-channel network to go and affiliate with them. And then they can get into Billy Billy easier that way. It's a smart move, honestly. Now, here we go with someone retracting the claims about Noah talent. It kind of reminds me of how Mo Mokoko says, no way, it's NOA talent. Uh, Ian and JPV tubers who joined them for access to Billy Billy seem to be in good hands and they saved Kurosanji victims before. Uh, what they said about the CEO of the company known as U UFE is still true, UFU. He's a jerk. He despises VTuber watchers. He likes making hot takes about the industry and talking S. So that is normal. Um, no wonder Talents Fox was company despite him being painted as public enemy number one because uh, he runs a good talent agency. They do good pay, ample resources, gets you out of trouble when you F up. They do all these things. So even if he is a bad person overall and he is, you know, someone that is not doing great things overall, he is uh, running a tight ship. And it is a good ship that Hollow Life trusts, Mythic trusts, other agencies trust to get them into China without all the big, like I mentioned, uh, like I've mentioned in other videos, all that big rigmarole, whatever you want to call it, of stuff of, you know, having to actually have a headquarters there, having to have a business inside of China, 
a presence inside of China. They don't have to do this. They just have to work through Noah. What convinced me about the illegitimacy of the company, at least overseas divisions, is that they collaborated with an industry veteran with very good track record to handle their ENJP business, known as Fang Dao. I actually worked with him briefly when I was one of Hololive's subtitle groups and would trust this person's integrity as he was one of the few whistleblowers who warned cover about certain groups embezzling their money. In fact, I became more impressed with this company manager after knowing they saved two VTA members who got terminated by any color during their great VTA purge, went into court against their predatory termination contracts, and won. So they actually went and defended talents from VTA, in VTA, against uh, predatory practices of contracts with Nidhi Sanji, and they won in court. This is a big thing to, to mark there. That's why I like being objective, because you get both sides, and I, if I'm proven wrong, I will always accept that I can be proven wrong. Actually, the successful past experience that gave me gave them the confidence to try and poach Doki Bird the day after Selene's termination. Maybe they thought she needed legal help, and they are the few who fought Kurosanji in court and won. I'll provide the receipt in a few... Uh, BTS videos, I'm going to translate, but for now, let's remind ourselves to not associate a company's success to a single personality. We can have lovable and caring CEOs like Yago and Sakana, but also ruthless a-holes like UFU. In the end, it's the results that matter, and the way that the talents are treated that matters. First, I've heard of Purge VTA members taking things to court, got a source on that one. Seconded, I've learned anything from the sub, it's to get docs. Of course, everything is a rumor at this point. This kind of stuff with, you know, the VTA thing, if it's not actually shown then a lot of this stuff is rumor but uh the ufu thing he's he has had i've mentioned in the past i've shown in the past videos he has had bad comments when uh the whole thing with hollow was happening in the hollow cn days and uh you know them leaving hollow uh hollow live leaving china he said a lot of negative things against hollow live that have been shown in an actual video and billy billy that you can look up it's kind of a pos but when it comes to supporting his employees under his wings those vtubers seem to trust him very much so that's a good thing like you can have an a-hole you can have a riku but like if i wouldn't have so many issues with nidhi sanji if they were just an a-hole riku but they had hollow live level managers they had hollow live level management and treatment of their talents in en but they don't it's horrible Riku and then horrible everything else. So Noah, if this is true, if everything mentioned here is true, then yes, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and at the very least treat the company as a separate entity from the people who run it. As mentioned in other parts of videos and other videos, they went to Japan Expo recently, from what I remember, uh, and Fuamoko did their rock and roar party and look how full it was. Look how full it was. This was basically, you know, it wasn't like a 3D live or anything like that. It was their rock and roar party that they always do. It says, we'll never forget how warm you all were. Please call us back soon and we'll come running to protect your smile. Merci beaucoup. Uh, merci back. Merci back. Japan Expo, bow, bow. And there you go. All the very, very happy ruffians there. Uh, EU ruffians going and being at Japan Expo, which is a humongous expo in Paris. France. So it's like in a little source sauce from Fuomoko right here. This is the one right here. And a lot of people are like, everyone looks so happy to be there. All proof of how many smiles you two are protecting. And yes, they protect a lot of smiles. Uh, you two are so cute. I'm happy you felt so warm and welcomed by the ruffians at Japan Expo. It looks like you enjoyed yourself lots. Keep up the amazing work. They're doing amazing things. I am so glad that Yago took a chance with the twins uh, because it's a chance to have twins in a large organization. Took a chance by having twins, by finding those diamonds in the rough and giving them their second wind their second life if you know the history of fuamoko it is a sad history um gogo -go nippon just look up gogo -go nippon vtubers and you're gonna find it and um it was a sad history but i'm very very happy that the two twins can go and have such a good community such a happy time now that they have a large company behind them someone who will support them through and through through their thickness and thin uh, Yago always, always defends his, his livers and always protects them as much as he can. So here's another look at them again. This is, uh, you know, the rock and roll party, the, the other things here. It just looks very, very amazing. And I'm glad that they were able to see this happen because this is one of their dreams to have a large community like this. And I'm glad they were able to do it. I know some people get tired of cover news, but Cover Corp now recently released a new note on their value renewal, their value deck. Why that people judge cover because of the corporate Memphis style and not the content people need to adopt the don't judge a book by its cover rule same vibes with people hating rich people because they're rich the cynicism is exactly misplaced a lot of companies virtual signal and state all their company mission beliefs by throwing up a flashy garbage on screen and media materials so that's true they do 
released a new note today talking about their new values regarding the global expansion plans. They are as follows. Proceed with your own hypothesis rather than thoughtlessly uh, doing as you're told. The creation of a new value only becomes evident when you think and act autonomously. So they want their talents to act autonomously from what it looks like. To unite without boundaries. By all means, it's important to fulfill your own duties. However, there are limits to what can be accomplished through that alone in order to continuously create new value. You must boldly attempt things that you can't achieve on your own to be outcome driven. When you try and don't get the results you seek, you'll find the greatest opportunities, focusing on what you learned from the experiences and how you'll apply it in the future rather than those whose fault it was is the shortest route to achieving results. Employees are appointed as ambassadors to these values. And lastly, together, let's create a culture loved by all. Based on what we have seen by cover so far, both their ups and downs, they seem to be sincere in this message, and so they will keep having my support. Basically, I will also support them until proven otherwise. If they prove that they are a bad company and they prove that they've been messing up too much, then that's when I will throw criticism at them as much as I can. Here is their corporate value renewal, their actual thing. It's been eight years since Cover Corporation was established, but the mission together, let's create culture loved by all. In mind, the employees have continued to take on new challenges as since uh, the day Cover corporation got started and here is the three new values as i mentioned before bold spirited this is all in japanese united without boundaries there are limits where you can achieve by yourself like the things i had mentioned these are all the things they meant here outcome driven that uh, i had uh what i had written read before mr tanigo encouraged employees to think about how we can bring more joy to our customers while implementing new ideas create even more excitement take on challenges courageously and pursue results through working with different people in areas that are beyond the boundaries of the team guiding principles of do's and don'ts they have guidelines as necessary. We have we like, revised do and don't guidelines. It's proceed with your own hypothesis rather than thoughtlessly doing as you're told. Creation of new values becomes evident when you think and act autonomously. Like I mentioned before, all means it's important to fulfill your own duties. Uh, when you try and get results you seek, the whole thing that I had mentioned before, employees are appointed as, uh, you know, the uh, ambassadors to these values as employees tend to be ambassadors to any values that the company puts out. Since we created these values, we want our employees to not only understand them at a surface value, but to experience and recognize them deeper. This wor workshop allowed employees to interact while exchanging opinions about values. So they had a workshop for their employees, which is good. Before the workshop began, Tanigo appeared on stage once more in response to the host question, what changes do you expect at the new values? Tanigo responded, the new values will, only be, will not only be in Japanese, but also in English. Under the shared value, we want to create entertainment that is appreciated by fans all over the world, no matter where they come from. He also revealed that a U.S. branch office is, is established. Uh, workshop began. Employees chose between three values, bold spirited, united with boundaries, without boundaries, and outcome driven, and they discussed about it. So it was, it was a big thing that they did, which is good. It's good to have employees on the same page, and it's good to have these values out there in public so that they can be held to task if they mess up and they, they don't follow the same values that they're putting out. And that's what, you know, I think is a good thing. Come one and all, this is Sayu. And she's finally having a new summer outfit. She has had so many outfits pop up recently, you know, with her 8-bit outfit. her uh, And it's very expressive 8-bit outfit. And then her Eeyore looking outfit, you know, the pretty cute uh, onesie type of thing. It's very cute. She's had a lot of cute outfits hop happening recently. And now she has another one, which makes me very happy for her because she deserves to have this thing. And so do the, the uh, Synchronites. They do deserve that as well. Sai's new outfit, Summer Edition on July 13th, Long Ponytail Hype. This is not a drill. Cyberpunk Normal is getting a ponytail. Let's go. Let's take a look at what's going on here and then see why people are reacting and being insane. Summer outfit. Did you see? Oh, she has a ponytail. Ponytail Hype. Got the ponytail hype. New merch as well. Dang, she's got belly. <laughs> She's showing the belly. She's showing the belly. Uh, hi, guys. I'm so excited to announce our summer outfit debut happening this weekend. Finally going outside to have our beach episode. You better be there July 13th, 7 p.m. PDT. It's going to be during my stream, but I am still going to show you guys anything that I can to, you know, have a little bit of fun. Maybe just pop into the stream for a short period to show you what it looks like and then pop back out. Raft E, look, it looks like it's the, uh, yeah, it looks like it's the person who actually did it from what I'm seeing. Uh, the fact that, oh, the music video, the video was done by them. The video was done by them. Ponytail, we can match uh, from Face Connect. Yes, I'm so excited to match. Fifi is all about hype. Ponytail wifey's shiny paper up. New outfit. Uh, we are so unfathomably winning. Looking forward for it, Sayu. Think, I think, no, it's going to be amazing. It's happening. Uh, Sayu's found sun. Also, summertime, Sayu. It looks very beautiful. And we get the ponytail when we get in the beach episode. So we're, the beach episode is going to be happening soon, it looks like. But the community is very happy for this. Like I said, it's very happy. 
My cat donkey cannot be the sexy wife <laughs> wife material. Absolutely. A lot of people are having fun with this. I'm very happy for her. Like I said, hello everyone. Welcome again to another VTuber showcase. In this case, we're having Grave Power, who is a friend of the channel coming in with a lot of uh, monster truck related stuff. He does a lot of gaming monster truck. He also does um, like a twister uh, type of Robloxing where you basically chase for twisters. Uh, taking a look at what they're doing here specifically. They're just waiting for the twister to come over them and uh, they have a very, very good vehicle for this. Usually, uh, if you don't have a vehicle like this on this specific Roblox one, you get pretty much tossed around. If you do, then you can pretty much be sure that uh, you're going to pretty much be safe. I think there's ways of protecting yourself. So there's there's ways of there, but that's one of the things that they do. They're also on uh, on Twitch over here at grave power underscore vt they have 27 followers so i'm trying to help them out trying to give them a little bit more visual you know visual uh appearance to other people trying to give them a little bit more out there that you know i wish i had when i was tiny so kind of trying to help the community as much as i can and here they are on their uh youtuber twitter the vtuber twitter they are you know just doing regular stuff feeling related things uh monster truck uh, Maximum Madness, you know, all these type of things. Uh, he's mentioning that he is going to be looking go, to go to V Shoujo. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, well, then there's always next time you can try. And there's always things you can do to better your chances whenever you get to go there. Uh, maybe the things will fit very well for V Shoujo. We don't know until it happens. Thank you again, uh, Grave Power, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Thank you so, so much. And I will be seeing each and every one of you next time. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.